hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you my method of getting a clothes model for mac Velos designer and making it usable for animation um so depending on what you're trying to achieve um you could just use the basic model you got from marvelous designer for an animation but if you want to improve it a little bit even without the need for retopology um that's what i'm going to be showing you today um, because just right off the buzz, it works, but you will run into some problems. So this is the kind of result we're getting today. Um, this model was gotten from Marvelous Designer, um, but with some tweaking, I was able to improve the topology to have nice flowing edge loops, and we have nice basic topology around the mesh. So this will definitely deform very well um, with when you rig it, and it's also going to deform well if you simulate it using blender cloth simulator or even maya cloth sim simulator because this tutorial will not just be just for blender um we'll be using several software to be able to achieve this um so don't click away just yet um so basically you can probably still achieve this just in blender but this method i'm showing you works faster with um, this other software which i'll be showing you so basically the software we needing is um marvelous designers of course will be needing Blender or your favorite DCC app like uh, Maya or 3DX Mass. And finally, we'll be needing ZBrush to be able to achieve all of this. Okay, so let's start from a new scene. In this tutorial, we'll not cover the exporting, the importing, or even creating of the clothing. Basically, what we'll be covering is just um, the entire process of cleaning up or making the mesh look a bit more presentable and more cool. Okay, so here in Marvelous Designer, I'm currently working on an asset. Um, so I created this from scratch and this is what we'll be using. Um, by default, if you're using the latest build of Marvelous Designer, this should be all set to triangles. So as you can see, this is how it's going to look. So um, going into this project, I knew um, basically the topology or poly count I'm looking for should not be high. So that's why I'm just using about 15, which is um, it's okay. I mean, it's quite high for a game engine, but low enough for animation. Um, but I'm going after you stick around. I'm going to also show you another workflow that you can use for actual game development that can really speed up your process. That you can get usable geometry um, using this process. Okay, so basically how this works is um, you can select all the assets which you're trying to um, use, and let's. I'm going to check on this remesh feature feature. Okay, so it's going to make it awkward now, as you can see. So this is basically what we want. And then we can select all of them and export this files. So I'm going to export OBJ selected to my desktop. Yep. So let me go over my basic export setting. I usually like to set it to single object, um, set it to teen and click on weld. So it's going to weld all the parts being sold together inside Marvelous Designer. And of course, we want to leave everything else as default. So it's going to be exporting to, with its UV and everything. Okay, so by that, we can hit OK and it has exported it. So here in Blender or your favorite DCC app, um, you can go to File, just import the model any other way, any way you usually do. So this is where I import mine. And this is it. So at this point, I'm just going to separate them into different assets. So we have the clothes, the top and the bottom. So let's work with this. So this is what we have now. You can see um, if you're in Blender, you basically want to also um, select in the mesh. You want to go to normals and uncheck smooth normals. Okay. So if we look at this, this is how it looks. And um, we don't have any predefined edge. And we're kind of losing um, those nice scripts that we can get, we can see in Marvelous Designer because of its zone here. So we are kind of losing that. And yeah, so this process I'm going to show you is going to help you retain those sharp edges and those kind of flows that even improve the out, the final outlook of the model. Okay. So now once you have this, you can export this and import it to ZBrush. Um, but Blender has a very nice add-on called um, GobZ. Um, you should check it out for yourself. Um, it's free, so you can just watch other YouTube videos and it's going to show you how to import, set that up very well. And all you just need to do is to export and it's, I need to restart ZBrush. Um, okay, just do that one more time. That's not like 
an error from the add-on is just because I had ZBrush open for a very long time and it usually just crash after maybe if it stays open without much activity okay so it has gone ahead and imported the model and just delete this cube okay so this is what we have so far I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the double and if we display the wireframe by hitting shift s shift shift f okay so this is what we see okay so one thing you should note is when you export your model or any mesh from Marvel designers it comes with a UV map okay so that's what we'll be using that's kind of the basic foundation that will help us to really retain the shape and get a um, very nice edge loop with just few clicks um, so the basic way we want to go about that excuse me um, the basic way we want to go about that is going to um, poly groups and here we can see auto groups with UVs and we can now see it has created um, different groups based off um, the shapes being created in Marvelous Designer so all the shapes here are going to be turned to auto groups okay so this is that and next we can go on to the geometry tab and click on edge loops okay so i think we have some models uh, sorry sorry so not edge loop we want to click on group group loops so let's go out and see so you can notice now when we hit the group loop we kind of lose the shape so um something you can do also is to duplicate this um uh, i keep hitting the wrong button um so we hit duplicate and let's just hide that for now um but just that's in case um so you can have the backup file and also if we want to still reproject the details from the clothes anyways that may not even come in handy um probably if we do everything as it's meant to be done so now for the group loop before hitting group loop let's switch the group polish this g polish to zero and now if we hit it you can see we have no changes but it has gone ahead to create those nice group loops so you if you want like two loops to kind of really man manage the side, size of your geometry um, you can set this to like two and group loop and it's just gonna create two loops there so I usually like four because it kind of it brings out those nice from which I am trying to create and also we can uncheck triangle I don't know what it doesn't really do any obvious changes um, but uh, yeah okay um, so let's do that group loop and this is what we have so far so it's gonna retain the shape but he has created like edge loops from it um, so this is for most of the times I'm usually satisfied with this because I have everything looking good um, even though we have like few triangles it's not going to really break um, stuff because um, we have nice edge loop to bend very well and we have enough cords that's going to work very nicely um, but if you want to try out um, using the zero measure um, let's go over some tech some things that will help um, so for that let's go to the what is it, zero measure so for the zero measure um, for this I will set it to same and uncheck the adaptive um, zero mesh and then keep groups of course and detect edges and we can hit zero mesh So if that, this is basically if you're trying to improve like the flow some more um, I, you also want to make sure you reduce the smooth group to zero so we kind of still retain the shape as much as possible okay so yeah um, you can get something like this but I'm usually satisfied with this and yeah so um, before we proceed to the, the final step stage um, so if, if you're creating games and you need like um, more high quality assets um, so basically at this point where we are creating like the density of the top um, geometry um, you could probably reduce it even to something lower like five 
which definitely will make you lose all the details you have um so the 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 main use for this is not um to like um have a, a very detailed model is just to have like a proxy version of the cloud model that you export and probably carry out the entire process and you also export a very high um, version of the same model and due, because of this you can now transfer the details after of the low of the high quality model onto the low mod quality model and then you can actually bake out the normal if needed so i don't know it's kind of taking so long um, but you get the gist of it so before you finalize and export your model uh, you importantly because right now we have lost um, the UVs so to make sure um, you can see we don't have that option to even auto group with UV because we don't have any UV map um, basically to still get back that, that's those nice islands for Mixamo um, it's quite everything is still there because you still have your poly groups um, so you can basically just go to Z plugin UV master check on polygroups. Um, we we'll just leave symmetry and unwrap. So, with this, it's just going to go ahead and unwrap everything once more. And if we morph it, it still retains those nice islands which we got from Marvelous Designer. So, yeah, this is the basic process. Like I said, if you want a lo lo more lower version, we basically just need to transfer the normal maps. Um, you can export a very um, low vers quality version. Um, so I think I did the... Uh, no wonder. So, let's say we have something like 30. So, it's going to have a very low quality version where we can like do all the steps. We can um, make the, the polygroup or the edges very prominent. And then we can now bake on to it the very high quality version and then we can have a game ready asset um, so this is the basic process please if you have any questions you let me know in the comments if you if you think this method is whack or if if you think there's a way that i could improve on this process and um, we can discuss on it in the comments so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful um bye bye for now see you next time and don't forget to subscribe